Harry choked as Camilla leaks his talks with King to beg for Buckingham Palace balcony at night before coronation. It seems that Harry secretly met with King Charles before the coronation to beg him to stay in the family ceremonies during the coronation. However, of course, he was rejected by King Charles. It has been one week since King Charles' coronation, and behind the scenes details continue to emerge about the historic event. According to Us Weekly, Charles and his son Prince Harry spoke the night before the coronation. My understanding is that he, Harry, didn't have any interactions with the Prince or Princess of Wales, but that he did have a conversation with his father the night before, Nick Bullen, editor-in-chief of True Royalty TV, told the outlet. Harry arrived in the UK on Friday, May 5th, and no one knew Harry's plans for Saturday afternoon after the ceremony at Westminster Abbey until Saturday morning. Bullen said, Until the morning, nobody really knew what Harry's plans were going to be for that afternoon. I think everybody knew he had a plane to catch. Everybody knew he was intending to get home, but there was a hope, I think, that he might be part of some of the family celebrations back at the palace. So I think that there was a sadness that he wasn't part of the fuller day, but, you know, they all knew he was going to get on that plane. As Marie Claire reported last Saturday, Harry was invited to a luncheon at Buckingham Palace after the ceremony, which ultimately saw the king toast his grandsons, Prince Archie, who coincidentally turned four years old that same day. In addition to skipping the post-ceremony luncheon, it seems Harry also skipped the pre-ceremony dinner the night before, but said. There was a dinner on Friday night at a private members club in London called Oswald's that a lot of the rest of the family went to. The Yorks went to it, the Princess Anne went to it with her children, a lot of the extended royal family were at this private dinner, and there were no shots of Harry arriving at that dinner. It looks like he didn't go. Maybe he came back and through a back door, who knows. But it appears that he kept a very, very low profile during the whole piece. And it could be a while before Harry returns to the UK, especially as his and wife Meghan Markle's UK home, Frogmore Cottage, no longer even belongs to them. There seems to be no reason for him to come back to London anytime soon. Meghan certainly is showing no interest in coming back, but I think that's what's interesting, is it's possibly the beginning of the end of the Sussex interaction with the royal family entirely. Meghan, of course, opted to stay behind in California with her kids to celebrate her son's birthday. King Charles and Queen Camilla appeared before the public on the balcony of Buckingham Palace in crowns that they had worn for the first time just minutes earlier while Prince Harry was already on his journey home to America. The Duke of Sussex left his father's coronation so fast he was still wearing his Dior morning suit and medals as he was pictured arriving at Heathrow Airport for the flight back to California for Prince Archie's fourth birthday and to see his daughter Princess Lilibet. To all intents and purposes, however, it seems likely Harry would never have made it onto the balcony, having been grouped with other royals.